Hey, hey, what is one of Ole Miss fans? Boy, Trent is back in a video, and today we do have on Mr. Mike Baker. Now, this is the new uh, Ole Miss kicker commit. He just committed a couple days ago, so Mike, uh, welcome into the channel, and I uh, appreciate you doing this, my man. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. So, hey, I'll just kind of let you tell some information about yourself right quick. Just tell, like, where you're from. Um, just kind of, well, pretty much share or just kind of like a brief description about yourself right mm -hmm. quick. So I am a 2024 kicker. Um, I'm from Wilmette, Illinois, which is about 25 minutes away from Chicago. Um, I play for Loyola Academy. I play football and hockey. Um, I play wide receiver as well as kicker. Um, and then I played hockey all my life, played football all my life. And then I played lacrosse freshman, sophomore year. Um, I've won four state championships, one with – or two with lacrosse. Yeah, two with lacrosse, two with football, and then hoping for one in hockey this year. Um, I've got two brothers, one sister. One of, one of my brothers plays football at Dayton. And, okay. Yeah, that's all about me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I did not know mm -hmm. that. So, uh, I yeah. do want to ask you a question. You, know, you, you mentioned you, you know, you're kind of from the Chicago area. Uh, just being honest, I mean, do you do you enjoy living in the Chicago area? I mean, I know up there it's kind of pretty cold and you know a bunch yeah. of crap area, but do you enjoy that area? Well, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm lucky enough. I I kind of live I live in the suburbs of Chicago, so like I said, okay. like 25 minutes away from Chicago. So I'm kind of lucky enough. I stay. I'm like uh, relatively far from most of the crime. Um, so that's never really been a big issue for me, but, um, when I go down there, I, I love it. It's, it's, I mean, it's cool having a big city, right? Like very close to you. Um, but recently the weather has been driving me crazy. Like I was outside yesterday. It felt like it was negative 10 degrees, but I've gotten used to it. And then every, every year, the beginning of the winter is brutal. Um, especially right now, it's really bad. It feels so cold and it's yeah. going to snow like. Like 12 is on Friday. So, mm, man, I, I couldn't even imagine, but yeah. hey, that's, that's, a good, that's, a good, you know, that's a good thing about coming to the sit, my man. You ain't got to worry about all that cold weather. You ain't I got know. to worry about snow. And, I, I mean, the south has some benefits to it, my man. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, I do want to ask you a question. Um, how, how did you start playing football? How did you start playing kicker? So my dad was a kicker at Mizzou. Um, he grew up in Missouri, um, and he was – his older brother just picked up kicking for some reason, and then my dad picked it up. But my dad was also a wide receiver and cornerback, so those were his primary positions in high school, and then he also just kicked. Um, and then Mizzou came along and offered him a four-round scholarship for kicking, so he took that, of course. Um Played at Mizzou, and then yeah, he had. I have one. I have two older brothers, uh, one of which who his entire life's football. So um, I grew up pretty much just around football since like what since I can remember. I just grew up around seeing seeing footballs thrown around, whatever. Um, and my brother also he was a uh, he played linebacker, receiver, safety, kicker in high school because he went to my my rival high school actually he played all those position positions um and he also kicked up until his freshman year of college he just kind of focused on safety um and then now he's at Dayton and he's just kicking because he tore his ACL twice but um but yeah so basically I've been around football my entire life and I've, I've played running back receiver my entire life, linebacker my entire life. So I just love it. You know, I love every bit of it. I got you. Hey, Mitch will do it all. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, this next question, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, this next question always has some pretty interesting answers. Uh, I do want to ask you, like, is there a point you realize that, hey, like, I'm good enough to go D1? Like, when did you start getting recruited? I guess it's kind of another question, too. Yeah, gotcha. So, um, you know how, like, I, I played – I was I was the starting running back for in, in grade school. All, I went to a small Catholic school, so football was a big deal at that school. Everyone knew about it. Um, and I was the running back, linebacker there. 
Um, and I also kicked and everyone sees me making 40 yarders in sixth grade and they think that's pretty crazy. So, yeah. so naturally, naturally I felt like I was pretty good at that point. And then, uh, really it was honestly, for me, it was this past summer. I went and competed at Chris Saylor top 12 camp and, um, I felt like I was one of, if not the, like one of the best kickers there. Um, and I could compete with anyone and I was like, yeah, I can do this. Um, so it's kind of there. I realized personally, and then uh, I started getting recruited like sophomore year. I was talking to some schools, but nothing too crazy. And then uh, I went to the Ole Miss camp. I did pretty well there, and I've been talking to talking to coach coach ever since then. And yeah, I'm glad it worked out. It's been my number one for the last two years. So okay, now who? Yeah. I'm just kind of just kind of curious now. Who was your other? Who was your offers, and who are the teams is interested in you? Yeah, so I have offers from <laughs> Buffalo, UConn, Air Force, Army, and James Madison. Okay. Um, and then I was t- talking a lot to University of Illinois, um, and I was expecting them to offer me either this week or next week. And then same with Indiana, I was expecting them to do the same, but then I got the call from Coach Scooney, and I was like, this is where I want to be. So I told him, um, and, yeah, just glad it worked out. Okay. But, but uh, the question, yeah, I was um, definitely – sorry. Okay. Sorry. I, no, no, the, I was really – I was considering, considering, like, Army and James Madison for sure because um, the coaches there are all great people. Um, and then Indiana and Illinois, those were the other ones I was really considering. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so yeah, when it, you know when it all came down to it, do you want to ask you why Ole Miss? I mean, I, I, it's it's Ole Miss. It's Ole Miss. It's SEC football. It's <laughs> yeah. Top tier football. And ever since I grew up a Mizzou fan, which I probably shouldn't say, but because um, <laughs> my dad went there, of course. But yeah. Uh, it makes so sense. ever since ever since I was eight and found out what the SEC was, I was kind of like, this is where I want to play. I mean, it's the best division in football. It's the best football you can get besides the pros. Um, and so ever since then, it's really just been a goal of mine. And then I've been down there twice. I've been down there twice now. Um, and I just really loved it. Love the environment. Love the facilities. Love the coaches. So. Yeah. I know I did see uh, you came for the Arkansas game, I believe. But you came, was it for the summer too, I think? I did, yeah, exactly. I came for the camp and then uh, – Arkansas game, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but you always, always love asking that question to, like, why Ole Miss? And a lot of people yeah. say, of course, like, you know, it's a, you know, it's the SEC, but mm-hmm. of course, some people don't say, well, it's money, being honest with you. But a lot of people, I've realized this from, like, the people from the bigger towns, a bunch of them kind of love, like, the small college town of Oxford. Exactly, yeah, and exactly. Of course, of course, for those who have never been to Oxford before, you just don't understand that unless you come and check it out yourself. But mm-hmm. Oxford, yes, it's a small town, but it's it's a pretty cool college town for sure. Yeah, but, yeah I just love the environment. I, I felt it right when I got there. Yeah, good deal. So, yeah. uh, I do want to ask you this. Now, now of course, you're a kicker. Um, I did see a couple punts in some of your highlight videos too. Uh, mm-hmm. Is that a is that a possibility too? Maybe playing punter at Ole Miss too, or just kicker? Or well, I mean, or? you never know. You never know. I was the punter. I was the starting punter. I have been the starting punter for the last three seasons, um, and I, I've done pretty well. But I'm not. I'm not so sure that I. I think kicking's my strong suit for sure, um, but. You know, you never know. I'll, I'll always, I'll always work on it and always practice. But kicking is definitely my primary thing. Okay. But I can punt for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, man, I was watching your highlight videos and I was super impressed for sure, man. I mean, you're doing, yeah, I, mean, you. dude, I mean, you're nailing field goals from like 55, 60 yards, throwing kickoffs, yeah. you know, to the uprights. I mean, you got a freaking leg, man. Yeah. Thank I you was very, very, very impressed. Very, very impressed watching your highlight film. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, I do want to ask you this as well, too. Now, uh, now of course, Ole Miss does have a like, Caden Davis, you know, a kicker. Mm-hmm. I know he hasn't made like an official announcement yet. He's coming back, but it's the. I'm just kind of curious. Did the coaches tell you that probably a good chance for probably redshirt this year, and then probably play the next year in 2025? Right? Yeah. 
So that's that's kind of the idea going into this season. Um, because I mean Caden Davis is such a stud. Um oh yeah, pretty and, pretty good kicker for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm hoping to learn and take as much away from him as I can. Of course, you want to go in and compete, you know. Yeah. Um, of course I want to play this year, but and I'm gonna do everything I can to play this year. Um, but realistically it's gonna be the best guy. And, and oh, yeah. it could yeah. be him, it could oh, yeah. be yeah. So so that's definitely the that's definitely the plan. Um, but I'm just gonna work as hard as I can. Try to try to help the team out the most, you know. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. So um hey, I think that's pretty much all the questions I have for you. Don't want to keep this yeah. video too long. But Mike, hey, we uh, I appreciate you doing this. I know the other Ole Miss fans watching this enjoyed uh you coming on and enjoying mm-hmm. answering some of these questions as well too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So, uh, awesome. guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you could, please go like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, would be appreciated. Uh, see you guys next one, and of course, hotty toddy, sir. Sure.